few words about Rare Champagne. Rare Champagne is a new house, kind of, because it used to be the, the prestige cuvée of Piper Hatsik, and for three years now, we decided to launch a standalone brand. Uh, because Rare Champagne had its own so story, its own past, and its own style. So it definitely makes sense to launch Rare Champagne as a standalone brand. So Rare Champagne is only about vintage champagne, And it's also about rare champagne because the very first vintage we made for, of rare champagne was 1976. And since 1976 to 2008, which is the one on the market now, we only produced 11 vintages in white and two more in, in, in rosé. So it's only few vintages that we produce since 1976. Um, what else can I say about, about the brand? It was, First, inspired by Florent Louis Heitzig, the founder of Piper Heitzig, uh, he wanted to create the champagne which is worth to cream. So he went to present his own champagne, his very first one at Marie Antoinette, that was back in 1785. And that was in fact the really beginning, the seed in, in his brain give birth in the, in the, in the future to Rare Champagne in 1976. The style of Rare Champagne, as I said, is only vintage champagne. The idea is really to reflect the reality of one year, one vintage, one weather, climate, condition with uh, the idea that the vines suffer with extreme condition. It can be uh, a force, it can be the heat. And because of that condition, the vines will give it best to the fruit. And from the fruit, from the grapes, we will get the best of it in order to create a unique uh, blend, a unique vintage, rare champagne. The blend is always around 70% Chardonnay, 30% Pinot Noir, with the grapes coming mainly from Grand Cru and Premier Cru, especially from Montagne de Reims. So, let's taste it. <laughs> the very first one is 2008. So, you know the blend, and now the vintage, 2008, which is an incredible vintage in Champagne, um, with a potential of, of aging, which is very, very long probably almost infinite, especially for our champagne. The nose is really dominated by the minerality, a lot of freshness, some, some, uh, some toastiness and some fruitiness. The fruit is very fresh. I have some uh, tropical notes, which is kind of the signature of our champagne that you will find in each vintage with a touch of, of, of lychee, a touch of coconut also. And in the mouth, same thing, nice freshness, a touch of pineapple, fresh, very fresh pineapple, and then that chalkiness, the toastiness, which is here until the very end, very fresh, very long. So you can enjoy it now with plenty of nice food and nice dinner, but you can also keep it, store it, and age it for a very long time. The potential of aging of that one, as I said, is almost infinite. You can come back in 30 years without any issue. It will be amazing.